as we all know, the Republican Party pretends to care so much about police officers because of how risky their jobs are. But when it comes to Capitol Hill police officers who had to deal with those rioters, not so much. In fact, Republican Representative Andrew Clyde of Georgia refused to shake the hand of a Capitol Police officer by the name of Michael Fanone when he had approached the lawmaker to have a discussion about the importance of a January 6th commission to investigate what happened on that day. In fact, why don't we go to Fanone to explain how this whole interaction went down. I you know, greeted Congressman Clyde, I was very cordial. I extended my hand to shake his hand. He just stared at me. I asked him if he was gonna shake my hand. And he told me that he didn't know who I was. So I introduced myself. I said that I was Officer Michael Fanone, uh, that I was a DC Metropolitan Police Officer who fought on January 6th to defend the Capitol. Uh, and as a result, I suffered a traumatic brain injury as well as a heart attack uh, after having been tased numerous times at the base of my skull, as well as being severely beaten. Uh, at that point, the Congressman turned away from me, pulled out his cell phone. It looked like he was attempting to uh, pull up like an audio recording app on his phone. And again, like never acknowledged me um, at any point. As soon as the elevator doors open, he ran uh, as quickly as he could like a coward. That's right, like a coward. Now, of course, uh, Andrew Clyde is one of the GOP lawmakers who is against a January 6th commission to investigate what happened in the Capitol that day. And if you know anything about Representative Clyde, you'd know why he tried to downplay what happened that day um, recently. Uh, if you can remember, he just referred to it as something totally harmless. Watch. Let me be clear. There was no insurrection, and to call it an insurrection, in my opinion, is a bold-faced lie. Watching the TV footage of those who entered the Capitol and walked through Statuary Hall showed people in an orderly fashion staying between the stanchions and ropes taking videos and pictures. You know, if you didn't know the TV footage was a video from January the 6th, you would actually think it was a normal tourist visit. There was no insurrection, and to call it an insurrection, in my opinion, is a bold-faced lie. Watching the TV footage of those who entered the Capitol and walked through Statuary Hall showed people in an orderly fashion staying between the stanchions and ropes taking videos and pictures. You know, if you didn't know the TV footage was a video from January the 6th, you would actually think it was a normal tourist visit. Just absolutely disgusting, absolutely disgusting. And so look, if you were Michael Fanone and you suffered all of those very serious injuries as a result of those riots, you would want an investigation. And so you can understand his point of view. The fact that Andrew Clyde can make those statements, obviously when he's in the middle of a hearing or whatever, but doesn't have the courage to talk to or or deal with a Capitol Police officer who confronts him about the situation, gives you a sense of just how big of a coward he really is. Okay, yep, so I was given to understand that Republicans thought blue lives matter. Not if you're opposing Donald Trump. Uh, then it, they, they don't matter at all. He won't even shake a cop's hand. Okay, so now let's review. Uh, of course, Andrew Clyde is the congressman who was also caught in a picture where he's hiding behind barricades and, and afraid for his life. Uh, then he turns around because uh, his master, Donald Trump, ordered him to and says they were just like tourists, no big deal. Um, I mean, these guys are cheerleading uh, for people who had set up gallows potentially for them. Right. I mean, there is no bigger evidence of being a coward than, oh my God, somebody threatened to kill me and I was scared for my life. Okay, I will do whatever he tells me to do. What an incredible weakling. And that's the entire Republican Party now. They're all like dogs licking Donald Trump's boots after all that Trump did to them. I mean, they were chanting, hang Mike Pence as they came in. All right, so now, look, dozens of Republicans voted against honoring the police on January 6th. Mm-hmm. So all the guys are like, "Oh, cops, cops are great when they kill black people, honor black people, they're great, right? But when they were trying to protect your life from Trump's riot, oh, I don't know, I don't think we should honor them. So you gotta be wondering why, right? Because there's a new talking point on the right that no, the cops were guilty. 
It's and, insane. And they shouldn't have shot one of the rioters. Ashley Babbitt. Right, and and you know the insane talking point of Tucker Carlson is that the FBI did it. Mm -hmm. So the F, not this shooting, that he's saying the FBI orchestrated the Capitol attack. And which, wait, I don't get it, I thought they were tourists. Um, okay, and that since they orchestrated the Capitol attack, etc., it was, and then they killed this, this Trump supporter who was trying to break in. You see, you should hate the police and the FBI if they ever dare oppose Donald Trump. The right wing just throws anything they can at a wall to see what sticks. Because first it was, as John mentioned on the show recently, first it was, no, 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 it wasn't conservatives, it was actually Antifa. Okay, so it wasn't Antifa apparently, but now it's the FBI. And also, I, I just remember, I can recall the video footage that outlets like Fox News love to go to during the BLM protests last summer. You know, businesses that had been broken into, Oh, would you just look at the property damage as a result of these violent, dangerous people? Of course, the looters are not part of this movement, not part of BLM. The protests were legitimate, but that was all they would focus on. Look at the property damage, look at the property damage, the businesses are damaged, but these people, broke into the nation's capital. I mean, just complete, complete destruction. Obviously, quite a bit of violence. We've seen endless videos of it, and they love to minimize it. And the reason why they minimize it, Cenk, is because first off, the Republican Party and the right wing media colludes. They work together. They work together really, really well. And that's a powerful thing. And secondly, they know that the midterm elections are coming. They don't want the riots to be in any way attached to what they did in aiding and abetting it, in perpetuating false narratives regarding the election being stolen, all of that stuff they engaged in. But they don't want to be held accountable for that in the midterm elections. Maybe we should do a poll. Was Capitol riots Antifa, tourists, or the FBI? And I'd love to see how MAGA answered. Yeah. <laughs> like they're all of the above? Uh, wait, and then they were, well, some of them, Ashley Babbitt was killed, right? And you guys are all furious about that. Wait, I don't get it, I thought she was Antifa or a tourist or the FBI. So why are you guys mad? It, none of it makes any sense, but they're right wingers, it doesn't have to make exactly. sense. Exactly. Okay, last thing, uh, back to what a coward Clyde is, because as he's hiding behind the barricades, Fanon is fighting to try to make sure that people don't come into the building and kill them. When he gets knocked down and he's getting stunned, somebody says, I got one. And another person says, let's just use his gun against them. Do you have any idea how scared you'd be in that moment? So while Fanon is risking his life to protect Clyde's life, Clyde, when he meets him, instead of saying, hey, thank you. I don't know what his policy difference would be for voting no on recognizing their valor. But if you had a policy difference, you could have told him, but he didn't even shake his hand. Yeah. No, no, no. These Republican politicians are disgusting. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.